ओके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शेफ राम गोपाल एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक टेक्सचर्स एंड कंसिस्टेंसीज इट इज़ वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ एनी कलनरी एरिया बिकॉज एनी ऑफ द शेफ नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट आर दी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्सचर्स इन रिगार्ड्स टू द फूड प्रोडक्ट्स एंड देयर कंसिस्टेंसीज ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द चैप्टर आर यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द टेक्सचर रिलेटेड टू द ड्राई आइटम्स यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कंसिस्टेंसीज इन लिक्विड आइटम्स एंड यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू नो द टेक्सचर आर आइडेंटिफाइड राइट outcome of the chapter i you need to understand the various texture after completion of the chapter you must have the knowledge of various texture and different types of consistencies so let's start the chapter now texture if we talk about particularly texture is the term used to describe the characteristics of the finished food product like soft hard crisp smooth etc there are basically four types of texture we discuss uh, first appearance feel to touch softness and mouth feel let's go one by one to all the aspects the first one is appearance the first factor in the appreciation of food uh, you need to understand whenever a guest is having the food he orders the food he first eats the food with the eye so appearance need to be look exactly what the dish is the size shape and distribution of the cells are the prime important factor in the appearance of the di- uh, dish Ideally holes should be small or equally distributed all around and should be oval like in cakes and breads right so that's that's about appearance as you see the picture in the uh, ppt uh, you see the holes are evenly distributed in a bowl of all around so it's look very nice shiny right next one is the feel to touch obviously whenever you are having the food product it needs to be perfect the perceptive Effectiveness to touch should be exact as it is desired. Like in a sponge cake, it should be firm, light, and spongy. Right? That's about feel to touch. Next one is the softness. Obviously, whenever you are having any kind of a particular product like common dhokla, right, or a bread or at least that's supposed to be very soft. In the characteristics of texture and the product should be possess the resiliency, the springiness. and it's supposed to be gradually returned to its original shape whenever you are holding it down right that's called the softness of the product next is the mouth feel obviously whenever you are having any kind of a food product mouth feel is one of the very important factor texture involves feels or bite tenderness like whether it is dry soft hard firmness crumbliness and the short texture of the any food product right that's about the mouth feel so these are the four important areas of the texture now uh, you know uh, apart from this there are also some of the different types of various textures like firm and close by raising agent we raise the food the holes are small and many product is crisp and non spongy like biscuit and tartlets right those are called firm and close next one is short and crumbly product is short and it just melts in the mouth the right quantity of fat is added gets this effect example naan khatai short bread short crust pastries etc light and even there are plenty of holes of more or less than a small sizes it is less short than pastry and less spongy than sponge cake like madira or a queen cakes right there are you know uh, some more textures like spongy spongy means the sponge cake the holes air cells are small and evenly distributed it is soft and elastic to touch like idli khamon dhokla swiss roll and the sponge cake flaky texture means the product have thin crisp air packets the crispiness is due to the rubbing the flour with the fat like bolovo patties bushies etc these are some of the example of flaky pastry now uh, smooth smooth means when a dry ingredient is added to a liquid a- and the blending results to a smooth texture like sauces batter and gravies that's called the smooth texture as you, as you see in the picture the so this sauce is having a very smooth consistency right like the, but there are some incorrect textures as well like coarse and open texture this may be due to the insufficient creaming of fat and sugar into the product careless mixing of the flour when too much raising agent added and it gives a open texture to the food product uh, hard texture the air 
the air enclosed you know enclosed have been driven off excessive liquid whenever you are using it or low temperature of the oven gives the incorrect texture to any of the food product right uh, soggy texture presence of the too much moisture in any of the product when the moisture combined with ingredient and the starch get overcooked and tends to stick like rice lumpy texture when liquid and solid not mixed properly once lumps get cooked they are difficult to remove uh, yeah uh, like uh, eggs in sauces or suji halwa etc right then uh, if i talk about the second topic of the chapter called the consistencies consistency is defined as the fluidity of any kind of a liquid in terms of thickness the viscosity of any kind of a liquid is uh, known as its consistency as you see in the picture uh, you can understand this as a free flowing of honey right so that's the exact consistency there are different types of consistencies we can discuss like thin and runny when the liquid in the dish is thin like gravy like uh, matcher jhol dropping when the consistency is little hard and that it feels in drops like shoe paste tomato ketchup etc smooth and pouring when when the liquid is free flowing and smooth like uh, sauces gravies and honey right that's all about the texture and consistencies if you have any question you can always contact me till that time thank you very much have a nice day stay safe stay healthy